from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, today was our second consecutive day in the 90s, likely day two of what will be our second heat wave of the season, set to go through Tuesday of next week, and then the next cold front arrives on Wednesday. But today was still a pretty typical July day, a little bit hotter than yesterday with a low of 69, high of 91, but those scattered showers certainly cooled things down for a while this afternoon. Didn't produce that much rain in the metro, but other areas did get some beneficial rain. We'll check that out in a second. Upper 80s to around 90, and tomorrow will be a few degrees hotter than today, and that trend continues right on in to the early part of next week. But Lime Doppler radar is all quiet. The scattered showers faded away uh, early this evening, and next chances will be unfolding later tomorrow morning through the afternoon. Probably not as much as what we saw today, but just keep an eye on the sky if you have outdoor plans. You can see uh, the bulk of the rain today was south of I-64, if not along and south of the Ohio River. And the metro, again, not getting a lot of rain. Evansville, a around a tenth of an inch in the city, not so much on the west side. Lesser amounts in Henderson, Newburgh, and in Owensboro, but some areas did pick up over an inch of rain down in southern Union County. The bullseye jackpot was southern Hancock County, a good deal of that area picking up over an inch of rain and near Cabot there, just to the east of Easton on the Breckenridge County line, nearly three or make that two and a half inches of rain estimated to have fallen. Here's the day playing out on the Evansville Riverfront. We had a very amount of sunshine this morning and then those clouds rolled in this afternoon with the scattered showers but rainfall amounts were light in Evansville. We just missed out on those stronger storms that rolled across western Kentucky and now it's a partly cloudy sky and nice uh, summer evening at 74. The dew point is at 69. The winds are calm and temperatures now running uh, generally in the low to mid 70s. We're going to settle into the upper 60s to around 70 degrees by daybreak tomorrow morning. A little upper level spin in the atmosphere atmosphere approaching from southeastern Missouri. That kind of helped fuel these scattered thunderstorms this afternoon. That is weakening, so coverage tomorrow will not be as much as what we saw today. And a ridge of high pressure is slowly building in that will be suppressing thunderstorm development and also allowing that heat to build here over the next few days. So an updated future tracker keeping us partly cloudy overnight. Could be some patchy fog developing, especially those areas they got some rain today. And then partly cloudy for tomorrow. Some, I'll well, say a few showers and thunder showers beginning to fire around the lunch hour here in southern Illinois. And they do come through the metro in the afternoon. So again, keep an eye on the sky. An isolated severe storm can never be ruled out when you have a thunderstorm and it's hot and, and very humid. We just don't have a lot of upper level support, but you could get a microburst. We had one warning briefly today. I don't think anything came of it, but there are your highs for tomorrow. Low to mid 90s, 93 to 94 for the Evansville Metro. The heat index will be running about 100 to 105. Then these scattered showers and thunder showers fade away tomorrow night and on Sunday, Looks like another partly cloudy, even hotter day. There'll be some scattered thunder showers passing to our northeast. You can see them up here uh, in the Louisville area, and the tail end of that could get into our eastern or northeastern counties Sunday afternoon. So it's going to keep a 20% chance for a shower on Sunday, but otherwise the heat will be the big story. Mid to upper 90s, and that heat index should be up around uh, 105 Sunday afternoon. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get a heat advisory, and if not, we'll certainly get it on Monday, which would be a touch hotter with that heat index potentially running in the 105 to 110 range. So overnight tonight, partly cloudy, some patchy fog, 68 to 70, and then partly cloudy tomorrow. A few showers and thunder showers developing, hot and humid highs in the low to mid 90s. That slight chance for a shower Sunday in our northeastern counties with the heat alert up now for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday for highs each day in the mid to upper 90s. Humid, if not very humid, will send that heat index in general between 100 and 110 degrees, and it will certainly be dry for much of this period. The cold front comes through Wednesday. Scattered thunderstorms with that. It'll be our next best chance of widespread rain, and behind that front, much more comfortable air returning for Thursday and Friday of next week. Yeah, we'll need it by then. Thank you, Wayne.